I'm Margaret McCabe Janicki. Many years ago now, I had a friend who passed away as a result of a decision that he made. And um, I, when I found out about it, um, I was furious, which I know is a normal human reaction. Um, it's also, you know, obviously you end up more in a place of compassion um, and sorrow than of anger, but, you know, first reaction was anger when I heard about, the, you know, that he had passed as a result of a decision that he made. And so found out about it one morning. I was lying. I was in shock most of the day. I went to bed that night um, and I remember just trying to go to sleep and I was just so angry and um, I, I couldn't sleep. I was just furious. And um, two things happened right around the same time. I you know how when you're around a person, you two kind of together create an environment or a, an energy that's unique to the two of you. And I think that's true for any, you know, even, even a random stranger encounter to, to the best of friends. Um, so like I said, this was a friend. I had had many in-person conversations with him and I knew what his energy was like when he wanted to really, really tell me something. Like, I, I got something to tell you. I got to tell you right now. That was the kind of energy that I felt. And I was having none of it. I told him off mentally in the strictest of terms. And I laid every swear word on my head. And I was like, I have not, nothing to say to you. There is nothing you can say that's going to make any of this okay. Um, and so I was having all these feelings. And we, um, in our house, we have pet birds. And the bird cages are downstairs, the bed, bedrooms upstairs upstairs and um birds at least the type of birds that we have are they're not nocturnal like cats they when it's when it's bedtime the birds go to sleep they're very quiet they don't play they don't make noise they just go to sleep just like we do um right around the time i felt my friend's presence and really didn't want anything to do with him because i was so angry um i also one of the bells in one of the bird cages downstairs started to ring just ding Ding. It was about once every 30 seconds to once every minute because I laid there and like timed it. Um, and this went on for a good 20 minutes, half hour. And, and so I knew it was not one of the birds playing because like I said, when at nighttime, they, they go to sleep, they don't play around, they go to sleep. And even if it had been one of the birds playing, they wouldn't have rung the bell evenly every 30 seconds or something. They're a little more chaotic than that. Um, and so it would have been a different sound. And I'd never heard that before. I'd never, I've never heard it since. And so I, those two things combined and, and just this feeling that he was here and he really, you know, wanted to engage with me in some way. And I was so angry. Um, so I eventually just told him, I said, mentally, you know, I just said, look, I said, I, all I ever wanted for you in life was peace and love and you deserved it. You know, you're a great person. And I said, I believe and hope that you have that now. And I hate your decision. I hate that our friendship can't continue in a physical plane. <laughs> but I'm, I believe that you are having an experience of peace and love now. And that's all I ever wanted for you. And the anger faded. I felt the energy, his energy withdraw somewhat, like there was peace between us. And the ringing stopped down in the birdcage. And, um, you know, so I hope that I, you know, obviously I can't prove it. <laughs> I, I was the only one awake. Um, but I hope that in, that at least some part of that was real. Um, and that I did kind of make peace with my own feelings and also that my friendship with him can and, and has continued over the years and just with one of us not being physically here anymore 